It's not possible with regular functions. Integral of 1 over square root of 1 minus x to the fourth power. If it's a uh, 1 minus x squared, then in the square root it's easy. It's a simple sign, but for this right here, not so easy anymore. So let's see what we can possibly do. 1 minus x to the fourth power, we can factor it. And this right here, we can look at this as integral of 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared times square root of 1 plus x squared, assuming they are on the common domain, right? Good, but then what do we do next though? I want to introduce you guys to this one right here. This is called the elliptic integral of first kind or the second kind. So it's this one right here. So I would like to write that down for you guys. This right here, I will tell you we are going to use. So perhaps I should tell you guys the hint to make it slightly more fair. If we have the integral 1 over square root of 1 minus m times sine square of x dx. This right here. By the way, if you don't if the m is equal to 1, you should be able to figure that out easily. But if m is not equal to 1, then it's bizarre. This right here, I will tell you. It's the elliptic integral of first kind. So you just put an f and then it's the input x here and then vertical bar such that I just give the parameter m here. So it's like this. So this is what we are going to be using for this integral. But how do we do it all? In order for us to use that, we must have sign, yeah? We don't have sign, yes. So what do we do? Let's put two sign. So look at this. I will take a substitution that x equal sine theta, okay, and then dx will be cosine theta d theta, and see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, integral of one over square root of one minus sine square theta times integral of one plus sine square theta dx is cosine theta d theta in fact we get to cancel this and that out because that's indeed that's indeed what cosine square in the square root which is cosine theta so they are the same they cancel so now we just have to integrate this integral 1 over we have the square root that match with that we have the one that match but the, the thing is that we want to have negative m this is plus so what do we do it's just minus one right so it's minus negative so minus negative one like this let me write it down like this minus negative one and we have sine square theta in the theta world So, based on what I told you guys here, this right here is the elliptic integral of first kind. And first you put on input. So we are still in the theta world. Therefore, we put on theta such that, this is not necessarily such, I don't know how to say this, but vertical bar, and then you give the parameter value m, right? Here is negative one. Not plus e yet, because we go back to the x world, uh, theta is inverse sine x. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is f, and then we have inverse sine of x, and then negative 1, and then we are done, plus c. Wow! <laughs> yeah, crazy stuff, huh? Isn't it? Okay.